Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new update preview build that released and came out of NDA today. This update being the mid-season update for season 13, or update 13.1. This update features YGC season 9, some new vinyls, machine gun nerfs, and a new tutorial, representing a series of changes aimed at addressing the lack of gunplay and lack of content issues that have been complained about and really have caused large issues in regards to season 13. So, let's just get right into this. Starting off, update 13.1 features the addition of Legacy Season 9, Stalkers. This season supports some of the best cosmetics in the game, and has many fan favorites within its gun strings, as well as, you know, regular cosmetics. Um, along with this, we are also getting a rework to the in-game new system. It works far more polished now, and it's more well implemented into the game, um, really allowing the devs to communicate with the general player base directly through the game in a much more organized fashion. From there, we can cover the gunplay changes that are coming with the new season, something of much more pertinence to a lot of us. Um, and it should be noted, the first major gunplay change is going to be a change to the way jump shotting works on MGs. With MG jump shotting now having far greater spread while occurring, very similar to like what they did to drop shotting to mitigate that issue. Hopefully this can help fight the issue of jump shotting MGs. But not just jump shotting has changed for the MGs, as there is also now a greater amount of spread for the base MG. This should challenge the MG meta even further on top of the previous MG nerfs and maybe will dislodge it from its position, but it's hard to tell since there is no real strong alternatives being offered at the moment, at least until further reworks hit other guns. But it is certainly a step in the right direction and something that the community has been asking for. Next, we can move over to the graphical updates that are coming with this update. First, the game is now going to be rendered in 4K on the Xbox One X, as well as on the Xbox Series X. And in line with this graphical update, the game is going to be rendered in 440p for the PlayStation 5. So all around, just some better graphics for the stronger consoles that can run the game. Um, these upgrades are also going to be coming with a new 120Hz high graphics mode for the game on the higher gen consoles. I don't have a higher gen console with the preview build, so I'm not going to be able to show this, but it is something that was mentioned in the notes of the new update. This season will also be seeing the addition of a new set of vinyls. Um, this has been requested to the community for quite some time, and given that we haven't gotten a new memento with season 13, I think it's well placed to arrive now, finally giving our looter type players a new, you know, collectible um, to play around with for a little bit. Um, it should also be noted that if you get all of them, you're going to be getting the new Disco File 2 title to, you know, show off that accomplishment. Finally, we can close out with the new additions with the complete rework of the tutorial. I already have a video showcasing the entire new tutorial, just some blind footage of it, and it's pretty major the level of changes. I mean, the tutorial has been going through some small levels of changes each update for some time now, but with this update, it is completely redone, featuring new voice lines from Ada and our Outlander, a completely new methodology and pathing for how it introduces you to many different mechanics of the game, as well as, and what really is the most important thing for us to take away from this entire update as a whole, there's now AI units in the tutorial. Granted, these units at the moment aren't really usable for real encounters. They're kind of awful. But their addition really does seem a huge hint and a huge step forward for the game uh, in being able to add AI to regular encounters or in a possible new mode or something, um, which has been a massive request for the player base in, since the game came out. Um, and it is something we should definitely be keeping our eyes on going into 13.2, which might be happening, or if not that, season 14. Um, but that is all from me today. Hopefully this update releases soon and y'all can get your hands on it and give your own opinions about it. But until then, this has been Chris Beast. See you all next time.